Hello everyone, Chatty CRC back with you here on the channel. And before I start releasing the rest of the Goblin long range video build series videos, I just wanted to kind of show you some evidence that everything is flying and I've kind of figured some things out with Dynav and it's going to be more coming up here in the future. I just wanted to show you what has been going on. I've been out flying when I can. As you can see, the weather conditions have been completely horrible. But I have made great progress when there has been no wind as far as trimming and tuning and testing the different modes that are in iNav. So for example, on this beautiful day here, there was actually no wind, even though it had been raining, and I was able to do the auto trim and get my servos trimmed so that way the airframe would fly correctly when in a manual mode. Now this is just one step of configuring iNav. We'll take a look at the next one here right now. So with iNav, after we get things trimmed up in our manual mode, we need to work on our level modes. And you can see here how when I let go of the stick, the nose kind of dips down and it's kind of rolling a little bit to the right and everything like that. So this basically means that my board orientation is off even though the board is mounted flat in the fuselage. So you go into iNav, you do some configurations, and then once you get done playing with those numbers, you end up getting something that looks more like this. You can see here a nice takeoff and horizon mode and when we are actually level you can see the level bar there in the heads up display come right about perfect at center and that is what we want so we maintain a nice level flight when our sticks are centered and we're given a decent amount of throttle no problems everything's looking good now let's take a look at some of the other modes that we've tested when we have our boards aligned and our trim centered, you can see we'll switch from horizon to manual and we get almost no change. So that means that we are free to go ahead and start testing things like return to home and altitude hold and everything like that. Let's take a look at those. So one of the biggest reasons to have iNav, of course, is return to home. And you can see once I finally got it working properly here, I flipped the switch the aircraft turns around and it is now heading right back to the home point. Once it crosses the home point, which you can see I am right underneath it there, it will initiate a bank and just kind of loiter around me until I exit return to home or decide to do something else. Here we are in horizon mode flying out and I flipped into altitude hold and basically the plane the Dano Goblin is just flying along at itself holding its altitude within a meter or two getting bounced around by the wind a little bit but we'll work on tuning that out and everything and you can see I can switch out of horizon into horizon mode and just kind of do whatever I want to do and then I can flip back into altitude hold and just keep on going. And no long range test would be complete without tested video and reception with the crossfire. Here we are pushing it as far as I have with this plane so far out to 2.62 kilometers. And finally, just one last test of the return to home just to see how things would work at distance. Needless to say, I'm very pleased with the way things are going, and please keep an eye out for the rest of the build videos and all of the different iNav tuning videos and things that are coming up. We have a lot more modes to test, but these are the key things that you need to get working in order to start having some successful iNav missions. So hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you later.